Alan McFarlane has a theory that might explain why spectacles were not made in Japan until the late 19th century. He thinks that there is a fundamental difference in eyesight between East and West. It was based on the casual observation that myopia, the inability to focus on far-off objects, seems more common in Japan than in the West. He went along to a routine school eyesight test to try out his ideas on Professor Tokura, a leading ophthalmologist in Tokyo. This age group of 10-year-old Japanese children, what sort of proportion do you think might be suffering from myopia? Uh, the percentage of myopia is very difficult to say, uh, but uh, we said it's uh, about uh, 30 percent. So they would be about 30 percent, one yes. in three. Yes. yes. And when they are about 15, what, yes. what proportion? 50. 50% in the high school. 50% in the high school, school students. And university level? Uh, university level is 70, 70%. 70%, I think. Perhaps the Japanese obsession with minute detail, which is reflected in their art and crafts, is connected to this high incidence of myopia. The Japanese are very famous for their very detailed work. Uh, lacquer work, basket mm. work, right. painting, everything. Mm. Mm. And then later on, they are famous for their micro mm. electronics yes. and their micro engineering. Mm. Mm. Maybe being myopic mm. is one of the reasons why they do this close work.